The discovery of gold in 1863 led to the establishment of Idaho as an official U.S. territory. By the late 1800s, silver had been found and miners from across the West came to strike it rich in the mines popping up across the state. Located in the rugged alpine terrain of the Idaho high country, the mines were difficult to access, often dangerous and offered no guarantee of success for the adventurous souls who sought them out. While the days of mining these hills are long over, there are still some who come to these places in search of their own reward. in the wilderness right now at a pretty remote cabin, probably about a 10 mile sled ride from the nearest town. And um, what's really cool about this place is there's a ton of old silver mines all around this area. So there's a lot of history here. This whole entire valley is super awesome. We've got, you know, rolling hills, steep alpine train and, and tons of jump spots. So as far as Having everything for snowboarding, as mowing, split boarding, it's a perfect location. Whoa! Sorry, worm! Did you just hear worm out there? God dies, it That was insane! That's right? so sick! I'm telling you. Dude, you got the icicle! It's really interesting that uh, this place has so much history and kind of crazy being somewhere where people were 200 years ago. As far as we're taking these. Oh, it's so hot in here. Holy fucking shit. But apparently there's some silver in these walls. If I had a bucket full of this, it might be worth a dollar. That's it? When you're snowboarding, you're kind of focused in the moment and it's so much fun when you're doing it but the vibes when you're back at home and you have everybody together and it's like something different you know we're staying in cabin Pat's making us beer chicken we're playing darts you know those are the things for me that are most memorable and of course every time we strap in that's a bonus What's going on here? A little pineapple upside down cake for Maddie's 21st birthday tomorrow. Big, big milestone. Is that what we're making? I actually don't know. Are we, okay. <laughs> I think just for me personally in my career, I am looking to get out into the backcountry more. Bodie and Garrett are two amazing people to learn from. I mean, I've spent the past few days just watching them build jumps and find spots and just the way that they look at terrain and navigate through it is definitely something I have just kind of followed along and learned from them. Good work. It's cool to have a rider that uh, is willing to listen and, and kind of bounce feedback off of and, and wants help and, and Maddie was great at uh, just being part of the crew and learning and, and getting after it. Happy birthday dear Maddie. Happy birthday.
I think something that I will take away from this trip is just like this confidence to move forward with of learning how to do different things and challenging myself. To be able to like go and do some tricks and to land something was super fun and super exciting. I think it's all about taking your time to look around and, and just see what speaks to you and you know, the mountains are a special place and if you take the time to listen, I think that's when you'll have the most enjoyable memories out here. I was that for close. Secretly, I didn't want to go. Forty man. Okay, now let's talk about this. <laughs> He's a little loose on the sled driving. You can just blame it on the Euro Dooby. Want to there? All three. <laughs> Watch your creek! Oh, Jesus. Get the hell out of me. Why? Great place to be, really. Woo wee! Yeah, better out than in, I always say. <laughs> and so it came to pass, in the spirit of those hardy souls from another era that our intrepid explorers found camaraderie deep in the rolling hills of the Idaho silver mines. Like those who came before them, they brought with them hopes of discovery and adventure, and while they may not have struck it rich in silver, they brought back memories worth their weight in gold. <laughs>